Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET Core 3.0 how to create a table dynamically in SQL Server database. After execute that statement, the employee table is successfully created in our database, EMP database. Let's check in our SQL Server. Uh, right now, this EMP table contains zero rows. Let's refresh. I'm expanding the EMP database as well as the tables folder. So notice here the EMP table is added successfully. Let's browse the table. Select the employee table, right click the mouse, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of the employee table. Notice that column names EMP ID, EMP name, email and salary. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core, first we will create a new database in SQL Server Management Studio. I am expanding the root folder as well as databases. Now first I am creating a new database, right click the root folder select new query let's create a database create database the database name is EMP the database name is the EMP execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's refresh the database as refresh and here we got the EMP database is added successfully to our databases folder. Let's browse this EMP database. I'm expanding the database as well as the tables. If you notice in the tables folder right now there is no any tables because the database we have just created. Now my aim is I want to create a new table dynamically using ASP.NET Core version 3.0. So let's open Visual Studio 2019. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core file, new project. And from the projects, I'm selecting ASP.NET Core web application. Click next. The project name is table dynamically create is my project name and I'm saving this project in the project D location. Create and the ASP.NET Core is 3.0 version and I'm selecting web application create. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. First in this project I am adding data source or connection string. In traditional ASP.NET we have web.config file. But in ASP.NET Core we have appsettings.json file. So let's open appsettings.json file. And in this JSON file I am adding my connection string. After the curly brace, inside this curly braces. I'm adding the connection string semicolon now between curly braces I'm adding my connection string the data source first we'll add a connection string name is my connection semicolon now between double quotes I'm adding the data source so to get the data source from the database, open Server Explorer, right click the data connections, add connection and in the server name I am adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name. The database name we have created EMP. I have selected our database name, then test connection. 
it's succeeded okay okay and here we got our EMP database is added now we need the data source of this DEMP so for that right click the emp.dbo go to properties in the properties there is a connection string which contains our data source copy that one and paste between these double quotes and just add comma after the curly braces because it's a JSON file so after adding connection string open solution explorer now we require the db context class to get our connection string so for that let's create a folder called model select the project name right click the mouse add new folder the folder name is model and now in this model folder I'm adding a class add class now the class name is now the class name is connection db context class add and here we got our connection db context class now in this db connection context class I'm adding db context and this db context class is belongs to the namespace using Microsoft dot entity framework if you notice we don't have any entity framework is installed in our project so what I'm doing I'm deleting this thing as well as this also now let's open solution explorer select the project name right click the mouse select manage netjet packages in the browse search for Microsoft we require the code this one let's install Microsoft dot entity framework version 3.0.0 let's install okay I accept now it's here installing Nudget packages it's successfully installed go to solution explorer expand the dependencies notice here we got the packages is installed entity framework now we require three more packages let's install those also and the same now in the browser we require entity framework server select that one the version 3.0 install click ok I accept and the next package I'm installing the design Microsoft entity framework design select that one install click ok I accept and the package is installed successfully let's open here entity framework design and SQL and the last one we require entity framework dot tools enter select that one install click ok I accept and the package is installed successfully let's open solution explorer if you notice now we got the four packages are added to our project now switch to the DB context class colon db context so let's add the namespace here using microsoft dot entity framework core then db context now in this class I'm adding the constructor 
CTO or constructor double tap now in this constructor I'm adding DB context options this DB context options takes the T context the T context is this class name let's copy this one and paste here then options colon base options that's it we have added the class db context class in this constructor after that we need to add this construct db context class and app settings our connection name in startup.cs file open that one in the startup.cs let's open this output message box come to the bottom uh, notice here the configure service method in the service method i'm adding services dot add db context db so we have to add the namespace using microsoft dot entity framework and as well as we need to add the model folder because we have created the db context class in the models folder so let's add that one also the project name dot model folder now we can get the add db context and this db context i am adding the t type my connection db context class let's add that one then options 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 dot use sql server configuration dot get connection string the get connection string takes a string between double quotes i'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy that one i'm taking from the app settings.json file paste here semicolon now to create a table let's open solution explorer in the same models folder in the models folder right click that one add class the class i'm adding employee class and here we got our employee class now in this employee class i'm just defining the properties the column names PROP property is a shortcut the integer type the first one is the employee ID the employee ID must be the primary key so I'm adding the key the key namespace and the key method is is from the namespace using system dot component model dot data annotations so let's add the key method it's a key then the second column prop double code double tab string emp name prop double double tab string email and the last one public string salary so i'm adding the int data type salary get set and these are the column names for the table i want to create in the database so after we have added the properties the column names in this employee class again switch to the con connection db context class after the constructor i'm adding the prop double tap this time here I'm adding the DB set DB set the T entity the entity is the column names you are getting from this employee class so let's add this class name and the property name is our table name the table name here employee table this is our table name I want to create 
in this database emp table right now we have we don't have any tables here let me refresh again I'm expanding the EMP folder tables see it's showing zero tables switch to the visual studio that's it we have done the coding part now let's save this file again open tools uh, go to nudget package manager package manage console open that one here let's close this one and package manage console I'm adding add migration add I'm adding the class name employee class copy this one to database enter and add migration is executed successfully if you notice in the solution explorer the migration is folder is added automatically and this is a file name if you notice the create table employee table you have created and the column names emp id emp name email salary and the pk primary key for the employee id and now let's update this table to our database in the same package managed console i'm adding update database enter oh sorry it's update iphone database enter after execute that statement the employee table is successfully created in our database emp database let's check in our sql server uh, right now this emp table contains zero rows let's refresh i'm expanding the emp database as well as the tables folder so notice here the emp table is added successfully let's browse the table select the employee table right click the mouse select top thousand rows and here we got the results of the employee table notice the column names emp id emp name email and salary that's it we have created the table dynamically using asp.net core 3.0 version